Hello and welcome back to Nook 2. Uh, we're doing all the endings to the game. And I also really enjoy this game, so I want to see all the endings, especially on YouTube. Let's watch it this time. Again. I know we've watched it many times, but I still want to see it again. sounds so grim. Naturally, I read the manual. Judging by the pictures, the overdose side effects are the usual headaches, dizziness, exhaustion. Basically nothing I can't handle by myself. After all, now I, um, now I know how to do it. But that, just because you think you can handle it, doesn't mean you should do it. Being able to handle it is different than doing it because it's still dangerous. Overdosing is still dangerous. Just because you think you can handle it doesn't mean you, it, you should do it exactly, so you didn't apply. Are you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit. I'm trying, I'm gonna try to do it half and half with like being nice and being a dick uh, that's not true you need to go to bed no I, I, you've been in control for way too long already it's my turn now it's my turn now right I'll just stay, stay silent until the medicines and fights wear off alright uh, how about that? Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. Wait, hold on. <laughs> who am I even? I just thought of something. Who am? Who even am I in this game? Like, he is talking to me as if like I'm just some person who's supposed to help her. Who who is that person though? that person who is helping her with this. I just thought of that. Who is that? Who I'm playing as. You can't do that. You do your best to make me feel better. Uh, 
that's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you at all. I'm so energetic and I feel great, which means I, I can do anything. And you, you only, you can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. That's a bit rude, isn't it? Yeah, I can imagine how angry you are right now. I mean, I was rude to before, so I guess you can be rude to me. Yeah, I'm all upset with myself. By the way, you're the Don't even try to ruin my mood. I want to have. I want to have fun while we're together, alright? So you're, you're the one calling the shots now. Yeah. Well, I, let's see how long it lasts. We'll see. Yeah. I... Am I really that pathetic? No. Say something. I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks. Uh-huh. Hanging from my chin and then falling from my clothes. Uh-huh. Running cold. <laughs> that was fast. Oh, that's right. Hey, at least I tried. Go wash your face. Then you will know, decide what you what to do with you. Remember the thudding noises that I heard in my first playthrough? I'm in front of the mirror again. I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to to get distracted by the sneery looks on the walls. Or the sneery looks the walls are giving me. Trying not to drown in their giggling. But then I'm bending me in the mirror also shows me a pretty smile. Bears her teeth at me. I shut my eyes, so that doesn't help. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have helped even if I sunk through. The, it wouldn't have helped even if I sunk. So, I'm sorry that I'm so bad at speaking. Uh, even if I sunk through the floor, I start counting in my mind. Two squared. Two squared by two. Two by two squared. A square squared. A square pyramidal. A square pyramid square. A pyramidal square structured cube. A pyramidal structure, hypercube. <laughs> I feel better. But my head is splitting apart now. Sorry for being hurt. It's not your fault. It is. It's never your fault. It's always my fault, unfortunately, when it comes to this kind of stuff. I could just be reading this in my head just perfectly fine. 
but then when I reading it out loud, I'm just having a horrible time. And just making you people, I just look at a word for like five minutes. I'm like, what the fuck does that say? And then I can read it just flawlessly in my head. Anyway, back to the game. It hurts so bad. Just drink your right. As an already Now don't abandon me. Dejected, I reach out to the, for the shelf with my medicine. I swallow the pills one after another, chasing away the unpleasant rituals that keep floating up in my, in my memory. And yet, my mind still draws a terrifying picture. Lumps, lumps of coagulated blood and transparent coating travel down my esophagus, scratching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. I shake my head violently. I, I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worsens my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. Still out of What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This phrase is much more than pain. Yeah, I guess. I mean, a lot of people are afraid of being alone. It's, it's normal. It's fine. We all need someone to keep us company, whether that be our best friend or stuffed animal or whatever. We all need someone. We all need someone to talk to. We all need someone to hug every once in a while. Some of us just don't want to admit it. I toss the last pill into the air and catch it with my mouth. What would you do if it fell and fell onto the floor? I lie on the floor. I look. I look at the ceiling. I can clearly hear water running in the metal pipes up there. I hear. I hear the cracking of concrete. Concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. But I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine my, de my death coming from above. Rather, it's rearing its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me, waiting for me to lose focus. Is it the black hole looking thing behind your head? This thing. Talk about it. No, I've had enough of talking. Everyone's had enough of talking every now and then. Everyone just wants to have quiet and be alone. What do you want then? I just want to lie down for a bit. Yeah, me too. I'm recording a video and I had. And I want to make it at least 20 minutes, so... Firefly bit. I carefully extract my thoughts that are yet to be fully formed in my head. And lay them out on the, on the ceiling in an orderly rows. Now, it's my cork board. In hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them around, and in the end I throw them off with my head, annoyed, and start over. I can't do it. You, you can always imagine your thoughts as something small and swarming, like cockroaches. Hey, hey cockroaches, can I make them fireflies? Sure, why not? I don't mind out of the way. Yay, the fireflies! I have no idea why, but for some reason I don't want them to be green. I don't know. 
I don't even have time to leave before my thoughts are fireflies now. So I start to start running, running them all over the ceiling and with their, of their own accord, forming musical patterns. I can only observe them and wait for, wait for the right moment. It's just that moment doesn't come. Mocking sounds of flapping wings coming from the ceiling make me start to lose, lose my patience. Enough. I hate you. Spring to my feet and start screaming at the top of my lungs. And firefly scatter. And your mom also probably heard you. Good job. Now start over. No way. Stable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. So that doesn't bother you, should it? people act like this. Really? There's nothing shameful about snapping at someone if you if you have a reason for that. Do you have you did have a reason for you? You sure you'll surely get better, believe me. Now let's start over. Don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time here. I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. I raise my eyes to, to the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my fireflies seem to, to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. Forget about them go to bed. No, you don't get it. If I'm thinking about something, I need to finish my thoughts or else. I glance around the room. There are too many places for, for a small firefly to hide here. I can be a... What was that noise? Kind of like a water bucket. They can be anywhere. So, suddenly I hear a deafening rumble. The clock just hit midnight. So, it's so late already. But I, but I can't go to, bed, go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please tell me you'll help me. I will. Come on, stop bullying me. You, pro you promised to talk to me. What were you thinking about? What do you mean? You should know it better than anyone else. That's the thing. That's the thing. I have no idea. This is weird. Will you tell me? Hey. Oh, oh. I think I just experienced death. I don't know any other 
right way to explain what happened. Yeah, I, I remember doing that before, and I got an achievement called First Death. Well, that surely, that was surely something. Will you tell me or not? About what? Let's look for the fireflies instead. Help me instead of her. I've already had enough adventures before bed. I need to gather my thoughts quickly before I go to bed. My thoughts are hiding away from me. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. Guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 no. If I make it even the smallest bit of messes here, I'll feel really bad. All the things should stay in their places. That's it. Why? No, I don't and I won't. Alright then. Okay. So we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything or even an inch. Yeah. Why oh my. I have an idea. Last time, I became a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a point and click adventure game character. You know, those games, those, games have, those games have moments where you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. It sounds so fun. And that. And what the. And what. And what about the things you, you, you use right here? refuse to touch them as well. It would make it even more interesting. This is so childish. And I want and want to know what the best part is. You'll be the one doing it. Oh uh, no. Oh yes. I start panicking as soon as I get multiple in multiple choice situations. I'll just, start, I'll just keep changing my mind and I'll end up crying and running away. Do you, do you want that to happen? No, absolutely not. You're such a handful. You've already proven that you... Come on, don't, don't be so boring. I was just teasing you. Do you have... You don't have to bear the whole burden. Asking for asking for help is a reasonable decision too. Let's begin already. I go to, I go to the middle of the room and look around where I had, where would I hide if I was a firefly? Uh, this is so thrilling. My heart starts to warm. The by war my heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. What? Look down. I look down. After a moment, a small, a small ball of light and warmth crawled out, my, crawled out from under my sweater. Where are we? Where are we? I carefully grabbed the firefly. He was pleasantly scorching the, to the touch. Put it on your shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time for you to come home now. As if it, it was an order, the firefly slowly drifts up and circles around my head for a bit, and, and then the fly and then flies into into my ear with the speed of a bullet. And it tickles. One down. Let's look for the others. Yeah. Okay, I feel like that there's something I can do with the radio. Okay, this is actually pretty nice music. Yeah. yeah. A steam card of the radio. And it's called I Heard Someone, and I'm wondering if there's something I could do with that information. So that's why I'm doing this with the radio.
Let's leave it on here for a bit, see if anything occurs. I did hear Adventures 